That's my brake caliper. It popped off. How does that even happen? He's back! Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a banger with this. Huh? What? Many men wish death upon me. And here we go. Welcome back to the gang. What's good, everybody? I hope everybody can hear me. I got this uh, headphones in. Hopefully it'll just uh, work out the audio issues that I've been having lately. But until then, I'm going to use, until my mic comes and stuff like that, I'm just going to use this and we'll get it all buttoned out. So by the time you see this, you'll see tonight's video uh, that is premiering tonight at 9 p.m. or 9.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Day number two, it was interesting. Uh, Papa John's definitely stole a tip from a, from uh, from your boy. Stole five dollars. Um, yeah, not cool. So definitely won't be going back to that Papa John's. Uh, it's got to be a banger. So other than that, let's get right into day number three. Uh, we're at an eighty-five percent acceptance rate. So fifteen more percent to go. Let's get it. Can we get there by next week? Uh, also, tomorrow is Saturday. I will be doing a Dropbox video for Chuck on Dashing Across America. Uh, I'm actually, I was going to just feature it on his channel, but I think I'm going to do it on both. I think I'm going to feature it here too, but I'm going to feature it after he does his. So once he does the feature on his channel, then I'll drop it on mine. Uh, outside of that, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's challenge ourselves. First one, I'm going to put it right here. $11.17 miles. So now I'm going to have to make up $6 to cover up my six miles that I'm losing. Um, the miles might change depending on which way I go. Uh, we will see. Um, we'll see if it changes when I go to the other bridge or not. Uh, but yeah, man, Walgreens OD. Online delivery just means I got to pick it up. It's ready. Whew. I like the money. I just hate the miles. But the good thing is this will be a lot of like a lot of highway. So I should be able to uh, get this like pretty fast, honestly. Um, now I need to also factor in where it's going to leave me. But it's okay. I'm not going to complain. $11, 17 miles. I know a lot of you right now are probably like, this is how the video is starting. I promise it'll get better. It's Friday. Let's stay positive. Let's stay optimistic and let's chase this bag. Well, changing plans. I'm going to show you a video. This is just my luck. I'm not sure how the hell this happened, but just look at this. That's my brake caliper. It popped off. How does that even happen? Guess there will be no video today so now i gotta fix the fucking brakes and i gotta find a set of caliper bolts and not to mention i gotta figure out how i'm going to get the caliper pushed back in because it's an electronic brake caliper because i ran into this issue when i changed the brakes four months ago three months ago whatever it was I can't win. I just can't. I can't win. I can't. Dude, I have so many things that just continue to like just bring me down and bring me down and bring me down and bring me down. I don't know how much more I can take. Like, I try so hard to be positive. I try so hard to, to keep my spirits up and everything, this, that, and the third. But yet, something always has to happen. And it's bad because I, I try to look at the, you know, the positive of everything. I, I, I do. I really do. Man, I just can't fucking win. All right. So, let's recap. So, not sure how that even happened. But, uh, 
after doing some calling around, I was able to find a caliper. I found one of the Riley's. So shout out to my local Riley's uh, because they were the only parts store that had one or could even get one. Um, well, Advance could have one tomorrow. AutoZone was special order. And which means, you know, it could be, I think they said five to or seven to 10 business days. Um, the dealership, they called me back when I was on the phone with O'Reilly's. I wasn't even going to piss with it because I already knew there was going to be double the cost. But I found one for $55 or $59 plus a 30 some dollar core. Um, so I'm actually going to um, do the caliper in Walmart parking lot. So I'll also do some footage of that. So that's the update right now. My anxiety's like through the roof. I'm like shaking. Um, it's just been a crazy day, man. Like I, I don't know what to do. I'm just like, I'm due. I'm due to get a W. Like I've had so much stuff happen in the last six months. It's just like I'm just ready to. Ugh, I'm ready to get a win. So. Okay, so I got the caliper at O'Reilly. Shout out to Rydell. He went and picked me up. Uh, ran me to the parts store. I swear to God, every time I feel like I have an issue, I'm calling Rydell. <laughs> and Rydell's like, bro, I got you. <laughs> every fucking time. But uh, no, nah, shout out to the homie. I appreciate it. And because uh, if like, because if you know, you know, like Rydell also does DoorDash, and like, you know, homie should be out here making money, and he's helping me out. So I appreciate it. But uh, now nah, when he pulled up, he was like, how the fuck does that happen? I was like, I don't fucking know, dog. But uh, luckily, O'Reilly's had one, so I got it picked up. Uh, $59, and then it was a $38 core charge. So it was like $104. Um, so I got all my tools and shit. Getting ready to head to Walmart right now. Pop this wheel off. I'll do a little bit of filming, me changing it, all this fun stuff. So you guys can get a little bit of woo-woo on that. And then... Uh, there will be no ride along today since we had this little hiccup. So I'll just edit this video and you guys will get this video tomorrow and then we'll be back at it tomorrow. How the fuck did that happen? That tool I got one more. All right, so I could have replaced this back bracket, but I didn't. So I just, only thing I needed was this. Uh, because this bolt came out. Honestly, this whole job needed to be done just because of this bolt. Um, the dealer was like five to seven days. But we just bled the brakes. I got this on, checked all my connections. So here, here, I had to reconnect this parking brake sense, uh, parking brake booster. Uh, I did not unplug it. So I was able to just pop it back on and all that fun stuff. So now it's time to uh, put the wheel back on. All right, wheels back on. Moment of truth, let's drive it around. All right, uh, so let me explain something. It took me longer to stress, complain, and bitch than it did to fix the caliper. Like, I knew that I could fix it. I wasn't worried about that. It was one, finding a caliper. Two, I was sitting in Walmart parking lot. And, you know, I live close to Walmart, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But, you know, Shout out to Rido again for, you know, swooping me up and keeping me occupied while I did this. You know what I mean? Help me pump the brakes, all that stuff. Um, so the breakdown today, uh, I would like to dash and make 60 bucks to cover this caliper. Um, and sorry, I just got a text from Ron. Uh, shout out to Dash of Life of White. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, but yeah, I'd like to make back the money that cost me for the caliper. Um, now this is one thing that most drivers would be screwed on because a lot of drivers can't fix their own cars. Um, every car I've owned, I've been able to fix myself. Even though this is a 2018 Terrain with uh, the Denali package and it's all-wheel drive and has the electronic brakes and all that stuff, I still know how to fix everything. Um, and that's even without using a scan tool. Because honestly, when you do the brakes on these, you're supposed to put it in service mode. And I was able to find a way to go around that with taking off the, excuse me, parking brake uh, booster 
uh, parking brake module on the back of the calipers. I found a way to take that off and then reconnect it to the caliper. Um, now granted, when I did the brakes the first time, uh, I was still learning and it actually was a $685 fuck up because I ended up putting the car in, uh, because I disconnected the sensor. I disconnected the plug on the, on the parking brake modules when I took the calipers off. And if I leave that on and just disconnect the module, then I can push the calipers in by hand. And I didn't know that. Um, but like I said, $700 fuck up, but I can replace the brakes on the front and the rear of this car. No problems ever again. So when I had a hiccup like that, I was able to fix it. It literally took me probably 20 minutes, I'd say, um, from start to finish. No time at all. Um, but yeah, so just know, like, if you guys have something happen, don't stress about it. It's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, things happen. Things like this happen. I still, to this day, don't know how that happened. Um, I changed the brakes on this so long ago. There's no reason that it should have backed out. Um, so I don't know, but it is what it is. I got it fixed, pump brakes, everything good. Just added some more fluid to the reservoir. Um, and now I'm heading back to the garage right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over everything, make sure everything's tight, check my wheels, all that stuff. And then I'm gonna go out and work, but I'm not gonna film that part. I just wanted to do this part of the video so I can have a video for tomorrow. Uh, just so you guys know, my videos will now also be a day behind. So you are not going to be seeing the video the day that I do it, the day that I work, the day that it's going to come out. It's always going to be, I'm going to always have a video in the queue behind. So this video is going to be about what happened today. Uh, so, but do you guys think that that was like the gods telling me not to take that 11 for 17? Cause like, I found it very odd that I was heading to Walgreens and then all of a sudden my caliper like, just like falls off place and ends up running on the wheel. And luckily I wasn't on the highway. I wasn't on the interstate. I wasn't anywhere like that when it happened. Cause I'd have been screwed, completely screwed. So I'm blessed. I know earlier I said I'm due for a W, but for as small as this was to happen and only cost me $55 and still get back on the road in a timely fashion, I'm gonna take that as a W. Um, good things are to come. I just have to continue being patient. I have to continue pushing good karma, or I could not good karma, but uh, practice on you know being a good person and doing this, that, and the third. And you know, I, I do believe that you know good things come to those people who who work hard and stick to their word and you know do everything in that and a third. So. Anyways, I've rambled on long enough. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be Saturday, which you'll see that video on Sunday. But yeah.